Mr. Oilman, tell me how the wind is bad for the environment. Renewable energy is frequently heralded as the ultimate solution to our climate crisis, a symbol of hope in the battle against global warming. Green energy is starting to push out the oil industry? Wind turbines and solar panels, icons of a cleaner future, are now common sights across the globe, from expansive deserts to verdant fields. We envision them quietly producing clean energy, a stark contrast to the pollution of fossil fuels, and dream of a world free from the smog and grime of coal and oil. However, this vision, while inspiring, is incomplete. The reality is far more intricate and multifaceted. If the whole world decided to go electric tomorrow, we don't have the transmission lines to get the electricity to the cities. It'd take 30 years if we started tomorrow. And unfortunately for your grandkids, we have a 120-year petroleum-based infrastructure. A deeper examination reveals a complex reality where renewable energy's reliance on the oil industry is often underestimated. The production and transportation of these technologies still depend heavily on fossil fuels. Although renewable energy sources like wind and solar power are crucial for a sustainable future, their journey from factory to operation is deeply connected with the very industry they seek to replace. The manufacturing process, transportation and installation all demand substantial energy inputs, frequently from non-renewable sources. Do you have any idea how much diesel they have to burn to mix that much concrete or make that steel and haul this shit out here? and put it together with a 450 foot crane. You want to guess how much oil it takes to lubricate that fucking thing or winterize it? And it's 20 year lifespan, it won't offset the carbon footprint of making it. And don't get me started on solar panels and the lithium in your Tesla battery. This intricate relationship underscores the challenges of transitioning to a genuinely sustainable energy system. It's not merely about substituting one energy source for another, but rethinking the entire infrastructure. This transition necessitates not just a change in energy sources, but also a fundamental transformation in how we manufacture, transport and maintain our infrastructure. Only then can we aspire to achieve a truly green and sustainable future. They use clean energy to power the oil wells. They use alternative energy. There's nothing clean about this. The manufacturing of wind turbines and solar panels is significantly dependent on petrochemicals, which are derived from the oil and gas industry. These petrochemicals are indispensable in producing the materials required for renewable energy technologies. These chemicals play a vital role in various stages of production, from the initial creation of raw materials to the final assembly of the products. For instance, Turbine blades are frequently constructed from epoxy resins and fiberglass, both of which are petroleum-based. These materials are essential for providing the necessary strength and durability to endure harsh environmental conditions. The production of solar panels necessitates silicon, a material whose refinement is energy-intensive and often reliant on fossil fuels. The process of refining silicon involves high temperatures and substantial energy consumption. The very materials that constitute the foundation of renewable energy technologies are, paradoxically, products of the oil industry. This underscores the intricate relationship between conventional and renewable energy sources. The shift to renewable energy represents a colossal logistical challenge, demanding meticulous planning and coordination. This extensive operation is significantly dependent on fossil fuels which are essential for the transportation and manufacturing processes. Wind turbine blades, some surpassing the length of a football field, present substantial transportation difficulties due to their immense size and weight. Likewise, large solar panels must be transported from manufacturing plants to often remote installation sites spanning hundreds or even thousands of miles. This transportation process predominantly relies on trucks and ships, both of which are major consumers of diesel fuel, thereby contributing to the overall carbon footprint. The carbon footprint associated with transporting these enormous components is considerable, exacerbating the environmental impact. This highlights the current reliance of renewable energy infrastructure on fossil fuels, underscoring a significant challenge in the transition to more sustainable energy sources.
Ensuring the long-term functionality of renewable energy infrastructure necessitates regular and thorough maintenance. This maintenance process frequently depends on fossil fuels. Wind turbines, for instance, require periodic inspections and part replacements. These tasks are typically carried out by technicians using diesel-powered vehicles and equipment. Solar panel installations, though needing less frequent maintenance, still require occasional cleaning and repairs, often involving fossil fuel-powered machinery. The ongoing reliance on fossil fuels for maintenance underscores the significant challenge of achieving true energy independence in the renewable energy sector.